This is a, a good and a very important doctorate for the Free University of Brussels. First of all, because of the research we do on the social value of sport and elite sport. And Kim is certainly one of the best examples that we could have here. Kim Kleister certainly has been an amazing role model for many people. Kim was always enthusiastic, always positive, always also positive towards other athletes. That is an inspiring role for many people in life. Second, also because of our elite sport and study department that now exists 25 years. One of the best known explanations in the rise of the popularity of the sport is that sport participation is boosted by the wins of champions. In literature this is often called the trickle-down effect or the demonstration effect, but maybe we could just call it the Kim Kleisters effect. For example, if we look here at the memberships in Flanders and they are represented by these tennis balls since 1992 when Kim played in junior competitions. She ended the junior competitions in 1998 at the age of 15 years, she ended the fourth in the ranking. Immediately afterwards she started in senior competition leading already to Kim being the first Belgian player that was in the final of a Grand Slam on Roland Garros. What we can immediately see here is an increase after her performances of 40% in memberships in Flanders. 2007, unfortunately, she decided to retire because she wanted to become a mother. And in 2009, she decided to come back in tennis with an immediate result after that. So, although she has stopped playing tennis, the memberships did not go down. We cannot find such an increase in membership in any other sport in Flanders nor in Wallonia. And even maybe more interesting is that at the same time, membership decreased in other countries. High performance sport is said to have a, a boost for the society and to inspire young people, but also to increase national pride, to increase a feel-good factor, national recognition. So my question is, should governments invest in high performance sport and why is elite sport important?